I'm finally growing up, and it's about time. Elizabeth Taylor said these words, and I don't think they will ever mean more to me than at this point in my life. These words of truth mean so much to me because this is my last year of high school. My 12-year school career has now, now reached its conclusion. My previous years at school were never easy. I was a horrible student. I frequently didn't turn in assignments on time, and I gave the impressions to my teachers that I just didn't care. I was 14 and had a dread coming home on, on, from school on most days, having a slip of paper in my hand that had hard evidence of my delinquency. My parents would, of course, give me the lecture on the importance of school, grades, and how I was just setting myself up for a difficult year. My mature response would be to roll my eyes, slam the door, and blare typical teenage angry music, because that would somehow prove I was mature enough to handle things myself. <laughs> After freshman year, I thought I had it all figured out. I was at a new school with new people, and this was my sophomore year. I was ready for whatever life would throw at me. I was amused when people would tell me to get my act together. I really just thought I could skate my life with doing the bare minimum. Well, fortunately, I had been put in a different kind of school. It was a very small private school, and at the time I began, there were 25 high school students. Any shenanigans that I pulled at my public school were not even an option here. I was mad at first. My teachers were on my back about turning in my homework, my attitude, and my character. I was trying so hard to fight against everything, and frankly, I can't remember why. My teachers pushed me to become a better student, and it's because of them I'm graduating today. My teachers have always been here for me, and I will never forget the lessons they've taught me. There are three teachers who stand up the most to me, and have made a huge impact on my life. And I would like to recognize them. Mrs. R, where are you? Uh, hi. You never stopped believing that I could do better. You were always ready to help me day or night, and your dedication to your students and your work has been astonishing. You were the first one here in the morning and the last one to leave at night. There were countless times when we would be at school together way past dark and you would be helping me learn a formula in chemistry I was having trouble understanding. I am sure everyone would agree on how amazing you are, and I know they too recognize your dedication. Thank you for teaching me the lessons of discipline, dedication, and unconditional love for those in my life. Ms. Crawford. <laughs> You and I have a unique relationship. I can always come to you when I'm having trouble and need advice. You never stop being my friend even in the tough times, and you're one of those people who shine. Your love for your students and your pure heart shine right through, and that makes you very loved. You have taught me to open my eyes and accept people, and you have taught me how to believe in myself when everyone else has told me I can't do it. Thank you for these important lessons. You are a beautiful woman inside now. Last but not least is Mrs. Sheldon. <laughs> we started out on a rough patch because I wasn't ready to accept any type of help in my life. As the years have gone by, our bonds have only gotten stronger. We are different people, but we can very easily understand each other. There have been countless laughs, but also countless lessons I have learned from you. You are one tough cookie, and you always stand your ground. And you don't let anyone mess with you. Your dedication is as strong as your mind and your heart. Even though you can be tough, it is so obvious the reason is because of the love you feel for those around you, especially Leanne, Chloe, and myself. Thank you for teaching me how to stand my ground and still be a kind-hearted person. Who cares? <laughs> the kind-hearted person, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> You're the one of the most influential people in my life. These three women have been there for me for most of my high school career. However, there are two people who have been there since the day I was born who deserve some of the biggest thanks. Mom, you're crying. <laughs> you are my source of inspiration. You never stop believing in me. I can never thank you enough for everything you have done. The memories we have will stay with me for the rest of my life. Our late night talks, shopping adventures, and spoon wars over the last piece of chocolate cake at Applebee's when I was seven are some of my favorite memories. Daddy, I do not tell you enough how much I love you, but I hope you realize that I really do. 
You're my favorite superhero, and you'll always be the number one guy in my life. Thank you for your countless hours of laughs and jokes. You always keep me on my toes with your wonderful humor. Also, thank you for supporting me and encouraging me with this too. Oh my gosh! <laughs> when I pursue photography, it means the world to me. You know, you will just support me no matter what. Without you, my life would not be the same. It takes a village to raise a child, but it takes a family to 